I saw two angels. When Daniel saw the two angels, he wanted to let his wife know, but the angel indicated that he should keep silent. Immediately Daniel's power of speech was taken from him. Nega began to cry, fearing that Daniel would die. The angels took Daniel by his shoulders and lifted him out of the ambulance. Suddenly, Daniel found himself in another place with one of the angels. Daniel, I have a lot to show you. As he looked out, Daniel saw a place where a multitude of people gathered, and their appearance was like that of the angels. Their color was pure white, and their bodies seemed to glow with radiance. The differences between the saints and the angels were subtle. Their color is a pure, brilliant white from their hair down to their feet. But the difference is that the angels have wings while the saints do not. The saints were worshiping God. They worshiped God with one voice and raised their hands as they were singing. Daniel heard the sound of many instruments and the sounds were like nothing he had encountered before. He longed to join these people and moved over towards them, but the angels stopped him. Daniel, don't go. I have a lot to show you. The multitude that Daniel saw were all looking at a bright light that shone like the sun. It was the source of all the light there. Let's visit the mansions Jesus prepared for his people. Immediately, Daniel was in a new place with radiant mansions as far as the eye could see. Though the appearance resembled buildings, the structure was unusual, not made of any earthly materials. They seemed to be alive, moving. Daniel, Jesus has finished his work. The mansions are ready, but the saints are not ready. There was a sound of beautiful singing and worship, and it seemed to come from all around. Daniel wondered where the singing was coming from, because he could see no people there. Daniel, the worship song you're hearing is being sung by the flowers. As he looked, Daniel saw the flowers swaying in response to the music. It actually seemed as if they were clapping their hands, shouting and praising God. They are waiting for the saints. We are now going to visit hell. The angel raised his hand, and as he brought it down, the gates ripped open with a great noise. Daniel could hear the crying and wailing of many people, but he could not see any of them. And then a light shone from the angel's body into the darkness, so that Daniel could see more clearly. There were many people there. But unlike the souls in heaven, the appearance of these people was as it had been on earth. They were from every race, culture, and nationality. Every person seemed trapped in their own personal torment, a torment which would go on for eternity, and they could not communicate with others.
The sounds of crying and wailing were almost deafening. Please help! I'm a pastor. I stole money from the church and I lied. Help me, please. I'm ready to repay. Help! There was a group of people that were eating their own flesh. They would vomit what they ate and their flesh grew back. This carried on in an endless cycle of torment. Those people you see eating themselves, they practiced witchcraft while they were on earth. They specialized in eating human flesh and now they'll eat themselves forever. They are reaping what they sowed. What was to follow was an earth-shattering statement by the angel. Daniel couldn't have imagined in his wildest dreams that he would hear the judgment. Daniel, if the book of your life was to be closed today, this would be your portion. No. I'm a pastor. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. <laughs> and... I preached all over this, this country, I mean, the, the country in which I'm... This, this, this can't be... No, no, this can't... Enough. Daniel, on your way to the first hospital, you were asking God to forgive you, but you would not forgive your wife, and your sins have not been forgiven. It is a matter of reaping what you've sown. You cannot sow unforgiveness to your wife and reap forgiveness from God. Oh. While we are discussing, some group of people, thousands of people, we are being sent into hell. And immediately he made that statement, my spirit convinced me that what the angel told me or the judgment on me is true. So he said to me that I didn't forgive my wife, that I'm not forgiving. So while I was crying, 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 shouting and shouting, I was not crying that, that I was only saying, you see how I destroy my soul? Look at how I destroy my soul. While I was shouting and crying, I was afraid. Tears was all over me. I was panicking because that place is not good for anyone. And, and the way everything was looking, nothing, if, if God went to put me inside hell, nothing would prevent him because... Um